Once again, we return back to the Call of Cthulhu, the dark depths of insanity and madness, and an impending car chase. Beep beep. beep, I, beep. I have the players here who will introduce themselves in no particular order. Hey, my name's Jack Leica, and I'm like super hot. Is that because you were shot by a Tommy gun? I wasn't shot. They didn't it's, hit him. You, you're the DM who rolled shitty rolls for your own character and didn't even hit me. <laughs> oh. We were all hoping so much. Ooh, so, adversarial. Who, who's next? Uh, I'm playing Violet Carter, who just is slightly singed because her gun blew up. Yep. <laughs> that, that was fun. Uh, I'm playing Daniel Grant, uh, the doctor of Ass Kickery, and uh, I'm currently in a car. Yep. And last but by no means least, Rufus Con Argentina, uh, playing uh, the Boston Bogger. Alternatively, <laughs> you're playing Victor Stravinsky. And I'm going to do yeah. what every man in the 1920s would do. I'm going to get myself a drink. In the Prohibition. We're, we're in a car chase. Yes. During the Prohibition. Get a spill yes. all over yourself. Have fun with, with fucking... that. Anyway, before we start, uh, one of the commenters in the previous set of uh, recordings correctly attributed the fact that Violet Carter knows two spells. The Standing Ritual and the Crouching Ritual that have now been added to her spell repertoire. I've also changed the stream picture to Violet Carter firing the elephant gun. Which increases the <laughs> amount of uh, spells you know to two. Yes. One dream. When we One soul. Sauron on the stream asked, where's Hefty Helga? Hefty Helga is pepperoni. When, well, we, when, we, is your shot, when we last dead. left the group, there was a car chase just about to start with the, the mysterious car driving away at fast speed, and Violet's car close behind, and somewhat lagging behind the other car. With the nearly dead cultist in it. Or so you think. So, what we shall do is basically there will be drive automobile actions, whoever is driving. Not me. Te technically, the driver is not your, me, and it's not a character. Your driver is driving. Driver. I, I, will so be be rolling I will be rolling for him, for him as yeah. well. So... <laughs> Who is driving the other car? Wait, which car? Your that would car. Be either uh, Hugh uh, Grant or Clyker. That'd be, yeah, it'd be one of us two. So which one is driving? This is important. Um, well, it's my car, so presumably me. You're driving. Okay, right. So what I require from uh, you is a drive automobile roll, please. Wait, would I you? Think I have because that oh have dear. Very, we have a very wounded man, and you just got to your medical kit. Would you not be in the back seat looking uh, at yeah, him? Ah, yeah, that's good. Actually, that's so good who point, else? Yeah. Who's so a very wounded man? The guy I that you I shot, shot. Well, I shot, then rescued. So, who yeah. is driving in your car? Actually, then it wouldn't be me. I'd be looking out for man. So, it would be Clyker. Nope. Yeah. You're driving then, Jack. So, from you, I need yes. a drive automobile roll. Uh, uh, drive auto, 24%. <laughs> okay. Uh, D100, A39. So, that is a fail. Okay. Oh. With 24 fucking percent. Yeah. Straight into the first fire hydrant. Okay. That's that car chase. What I'm going. What what happens basically is you're already starting to fall behind, and you were already moderately behind. Who's driving? Clyker's driving. Ah! Whereas Violet's car is actually managing to keep up. Unfortunately for Violet's car, someone in the back is shooting at you. Racist. Wait, someone in the back of her car is In the back of the car in front Oh, okay Is shooting at you it's Archer, shit They are not <laughs> a good shot As this is in the middle of a car chase And they miss wildly And it's at night And, and it's at racist. night And I've noticed that all these people trying to kill us Are really bad at it They're dry they're, It's in the middle of a car chase It's It's Call of Cthulhu I expect magic stuff to happen I yeah. can make magic stuff happen magic if you like. You're not taking any damage. Don't fucking <laughs> question it, man. Patience. Patience. You'll get all of that, and then you'll regret <laughs> everything. You dodge the bullet. A lightning bolt hits you, and you exactly. die. Exactly. So, anything you want to do, any of you guys want to do apart from driving, by the way? Well, I'm, uh, I'm not driving. I'm, I'm rummaging around in the back of the car for another gun. You're rummaging around in the back I'm of the car for another gun. I'm medicine of savory. You're performing medicine of savory. Excellent. You have your kit with you. I would I like do. to take a swig of whiskey while driving. Do you have a swig of whiskey? I have now. No, do you actually have a swig of whiskey in your inventory? Uh, always, always a little thing on me, yes. Right. That's why you're driving like a shit. Eh? You're using one hand and spilling whiskey all over your fucking This actually increases my driving over. skill. No, it doesn't. Minutes. It reduces your driving skill if you drink too much of that. <laughs> Fuck. So I'd like um, the doctor to make a medicine roll.
A doctor. To, uh, the doctor to does not the... make a medicine roll. <laughs> a doctor! Uh, a doctor, the patient! While he's having a fit, uh, Klyka, remember to make a tick on your driving skill? No, he doesn't get a tick for failing. Klyka, you're a shitter, you don't get nothing. I, I don't think that I think the doctor has passed away. <laughs> he is he's is, he is in deep. We will deal with the medicine in. roll later. Don't worry, I can do first aid. Not while you're driving, you can't. So I need more drive auto rolls. <clears throat> do, do I find anything? Uh you found a gun. What what type of gun was it? It's a point two two. What? Yeah. Wait, so you want me one. to roll Yep, auto you need gun. to roll another drive auto. Oh. Can I can I try and find a different gun? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll try and find a different gun. Okay. <laughs> I want 18. a trench shotgun or something. An eighteen. Yeah. Okay, that's a little better. You're making up for lost time and turning round corners mildly dangerously. How's, but how's, there's there's nobody on the street, so you're okay. How's that? How's the driver doing? Driver's doing fine. Driver <laughs> seems to be quite enjoying the prospect of a car chase. Well, yes, he's, he's a professional driver. He's, he is a professional driver. He's very good at yeah. this. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> He was a race car driver. He can also do martial arts and shoot guns really well. I, Wait, very, is, that, is that Parker from uh, Thunderbirds? It's Where not Parker from you? Thunderbirds. We asked you for Seriously. a medicine roll and then you disappeared. You just go oh. away and sh right in the fucking Twitch chat. Wait, I like think a, like a make, like a, make, a, med make a medicine roll, please, because I presumed you were trying to, to treat this man. Oh, I was. Uh, six. Six? Right. You're making a medicine. Sh you're getting a check on medicine. That was really good. Thank I you. saved uh, shit out of this man, not once, but twice. Fucking uh, Dr. Grant. <laughs> Actually, you've done possibly a bit more than you wanted to. He's now conscious. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before any of that, Stravinsky didn't get a thingy, uh, so I would like to take my thingy from before this guy was rendered conscious. Yes, please? Uh, it would be happening at the same time. It yeah, it would, be the sa it would be at the same time, but there were two drive auto rolls, whereas Drabinsky got to do nothing. Well, that's because you did. When I asked what people wanted to do, you didn't say anything. Well, it's uh, kind of hard to be heard over fucking Kleiker. Cut now, now. What do you want to do? <laughs> well, uh. You can't actually see the car you're chasing. Oh, no, no, no. Drabinsky's in the back seat with uh, Hugh Grant, and uh. I he thought would he'd like be in the he... passenger seat. Uh, no, he would be in the backseat. The Mosin is a very, very long fucking gun. Okay, he needs to get rested on the Yeah, but he needs to search the dude before uh, before he's resuscitated. Okay, you find nothing of particular interest. Oh, that's good. He's not going to stab anyone in the backseat. No, he Carry isn't. on, Strabinsky has spoken. Any other thing you want to do with your second action? Uh, can I sit on the dude? <laughs> do you want to kill him? No, no, no. That's, a le that's illegal in the UK. So. <laughs> Do you well, want if, to if, kill if, him? If he starts flailing around once he regains consciousness, it's not going to be pretty back there. He's a little bit too nearly dead to flail around. Well, that's all right then. No, just Rubinsky just leans the Mosin on the back of the uh, passenger seat and okay. uh, trains it out the... Okay, right. <laughs> that's fine. You get the feeling, Violet, that you are driving out of the red light district and you're heading more to the industrial side of, of Boston. Okay. I need do, more drive auto checks. Do I do I do I find a, a, a replacement gun though? No, and in fact you've lost the gun you previously had. I threw it out the window. You've lost the gun you previously had. Yeah, because it's a fucking two two. I, I so, want another gun. There's drive auto, please, here. from uh, <laughs> okay. Jack Clyker. Twenty three. Twenty three. Okay, that's good. You're actually you've you've now sort of caught up with uh with Violet. You're driving much faster mm. than you should be. Okay. To try and catch up, and isn't that man conscious now? He is. He's generally groaning. I'd be right. Is uh, someone should punch him out? No, we shouldn't. He's just had like major um, fixery. I don't want this man going crazy. Anyone? Anyone? Wait, wait, can, can he's just been shot. He isn't going to be cra going crazy for anything. There's nothing he would do after being shot Any, to be able to get him up and running. Conscious. Anybody want to? You don't know that. Wait, Kiko, I've just remembered something. Mm-hmm. The sword will be in the back of the car. Yes. I'm going to tell the driver, drive them closer, drive me closer, I want to hit them with my sword. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Okay, he will try and do that on his next action. So does, uh, d does Violet's driver have the common sense to honk a bunch, so if we lose them, we'll be able to find them? Um, honk, honk. You will have to find out. Okay. <laughs> so, There's a relevant picture for you, by the way. Any more? Dri what? Another drive auto check for me. Oh, nice. Okay. 
Jack. Jack has passed out at the wheel. Watch out, you everyone. Don't. How many of these do you expect me to do? Is this like as many five as, meters? As many I as I tell you. You are driving down <laughs> streets. 76. 76. You, right. You better obey. I'd like you, instead of a drive auto, to now make me a dexterity times three check. You're rolling a d100, and you're trying to get under your dexterity times three. This is okay, to wait, dodge so, so three. What do I have to roll? Your a d100. You're trying to get under your dex or equal to your dexterity times three. So 36. Okay. Yeah. A 61. You have hit something. Of course. Yep. You you turn around the corner extremely quickly, not realizing that there is a lamp post in the middle of the street. No, no I you're know, driving I know. really fast. Okay, well, and you you've clipped it, and oh, you spin shit. out. Oh shit! I'm sure glad this is my car. You are fortunate, because I've rolled your luck roll, that you do not actually collide with anything as you spin out, and you just spin out into the middle of the street. However, you have lost the other car. Oh. Completely. I, I, use, I use my car sense that's tingling to find the car again. It's not working. Shit. Well, guys... Oh, uh, but Hitler, he, doesn't, he does know that they were going into the industrial district. If yes. He was yeah. as far as me. Well, you... sorry for this. I'll try and catch up again. And I guess... Is it still driving? Uh, you can try, but... You... Are we are we doing a, bit, uh, a luck roll to see where Strabinsky's bayonet goes in the front seat? <laughs> no, we are not. Okay, Strabinsky's bayonet. He has a Mosin. I can inform. That's, you. that's cryptic for something else. That's. You a... <laughs> see it from a <laughs> you a farm or a barn. From you are you cryptic. are you are right behind. Your car is catching up to them. Nice. You are nice. fired on again. Just... It goes everywhere except your not general this direct. time. They hit one of your wheels. That's not good. This, this car doesn't have wheels. It's Don't worry, we have four. <laughs> All right. So it's what happens? Um, it's a lot harder to drive. Okay. But, but the driver doesn't have... immediately go out of control. Either. No, he's he, not. He's got it. Basically. He's actually managed to pass his drive auto check, so he doesn't spin out of control. Nice. What a beast. He's a decent driver. I need you to make yeah. me. I need. And I will make the final drive auto check. All right. T tell him. I'm, but can I? Can I give an advantage by saying I'm going to give you? A, I'm going to give you a raise. <laughs> <laughs> well. That may not have been needed because he passes quite well even with a penalty. Oh, he's such a and god. Give him a raise anyway. And uh, you're, you can make a drive auto check as well, Jack. Um. You can make a drive auto check as well, Jack. <laughs> since you wanted oh. to try and catch up again, remember? 17. 17, right. Okay. You, you get the car driving again. You don't hear any unusual sounds from the engine, which is good. That's and uh, pretty yeah. much, you don't find them. Who, oh. me? Or them? Yeah, you, you don't find Violet. You turn and you, you cannot find them. You, you've actually lost too much distance here. However, your car, eventually, with a slowly flattening tyre, <laughs> stops by a corner. Slowly. Wait, where does the car stop? Because he's stopping it. Oh, what, my driver? He's stopping it because the other car is turning into somewhere a few streets down. It's turning into a monster. What you can see is he's pretending to have the flat tyre mean that he can't drive anymore. But I wanted to hit him with the fucking... And he <laughs> informs you... I've changed the picture now. ...that there is only one warehouse down that street they've turned down. All right, do I have any body armor in the back of the car? No, you don't. Damn it, I knew I should have packed some. Elephant <laughs> body armor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Could be anything in there. You never know. Do you want... You can keep driving around the industrial area if you like, Jack. Uh, you could um, eventually find them. I know okay, what I'm going to do. I will do I'm that, tell, yes. Before he does that, I'm going to tell the driver, mm. A, I should pay him more. Mm. B, he should go back a bit and try and find the others who will probably still be following. And I'm going to take the sword, which is apparently the only weapon that I have, and I'm going to wander down towards where they're going in a somewhat surreptitious sense, despite being extremely obvious. Okay. You start walking down that to that area. The driver starts backing up. As luck would have it, Jack, 
about three minutes later, <clears throat> you find Violet's driver in his car. The driver informs you that um, Violet has gone further down the street there and is approaching a warehouse alone. With a sword. With a sword. Okay. That's, uh, well, I guess... He says uh, he'll wait should... here for you. Well, I guess uh, we should, uh, you know, try and get How there. How about we uh, interrogate the now conscious man who we so painstakingly and saved? And leave Violet to go into the warehouse alone? <laughs> exactly. Oh, this problem. You do that shit. Drabinski's going in. Look, you know, you know what he's going to tell us when you're going to interrogate him? He's going to tell us, the order of my seven brothers and sisters is going to kill you, and then we punch him well, out, because that's what well, they Well, how about do. we take him with us, then? Nice little, fuck, uh... fuck, fuck him up with more. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that can't go wrong in any way, shape, or form. It's not being so boring. <laughs> It's not boring. It's just, what are you going to do? Are we going to bind this, him? This comes from the man Gag who like, walks at a Tommy gun. Come on, please. He didn't walk at a Tommy gun. Walked around the bullets. He swaggered. He swaggered. So, I will just have you guys debating this while Violet gets closer. While this happens... I'm, I'm not, really... not going to try and... Go, no. I'm just going to try and like scope it out. No, no, I, I can let you scope it out. Um, we should well, at least inter like, ask, like, interrogate the man while we have him here. Well, I'll, I'll leave that to you and the Russian man, the, and I'll leave the car and look for Violet. In the time that you're debating this, Violet has a look at the warehouse. From a distance, it looks like a relatively smallish warehouse. This warehouse is little over 150 meters long. Is it a Sabat warehouse? And about 100 meters wide. You think it's tall enough to have a ground on a first floor. Is it? Is it? Does it have a, a wall around it? Does it have gates? How is it secured? I what will, I will are answer all of these things. It's made of brick. It seems quite dilapidated. Yes. There is no gate. Urban decay. Yes. However, there is a um, the door. It's there is a um, a massive wooden door, but um, at the front entrance, there is a ways around the building as well. Okay. There are ways around the building as well. You do not see many windows. And you do not see any lights on. You also do not see any people either. Well, <coughs> I'm going to wander back down the road a little bit. <laughs> okay. Wandering back down the road, you will encounter Jack, because Jack is looking for you. Wait. What is the interrogation going to consist of? Uh, well, normally asking asking man questions. Usually. What questions are you going to ask? Who the hell he is for a good start? Who the hell he is? He doesn't answer. Could we persuade him by shoving teeth down throat? You're going to punch him then. Well, not too hard. We're going to knock him out. You're going to punch him. Right. Okay. Jack says we should punch him out. No, he was just shot. Jack is away. He punches the man in the face. Yeah, uh, Jack's back, ob doctor. Yeah, Jack's obnoxious. Yeah, uh, hold up. Are we outside the car? You are inside the car still, as far as I know. Can we uh, Would... take him outside the car? Yes. No, yeah, you take him outside okay. the car. Uh, just... He refuses to answer. Yep. Uh, slam his uh, hand in the door. Okay. He cries out really loudly, <laughs> and he still won't answer you. How All right. He has two hands. All right, there we go. Doctor, make me a medicine roll. A medicine roll, All right? Damn. Uh, I got seventy percent medicine. So that's uh, I seventeen. When he opens his mouth, you realize. Oh no, sorry, I looked at the wrong one. It's nine. When you open, when he opens his mouth, Doctor, this man has no tongue. Awkward. Well, it that has been, why not, that why it has been cut out. Well, and since we've broken his hands, we ain't going to get him to write anything. <laughs> well. Well, in that sense, uh, we may as well, we're not going to look sort of glean much from him. Can we give him a quick search over, see if there's any interesting marks or features? Or um, yeah. Why just, just tattoos or anything? Yeah. Um, why, why, why not sedate man, put in trunk, get back to later when have more time? Uh, you, you, you have morphine in bag. No difficult. You would not be difficult to sedate him. How long would it take to sort of quickly search in case there's anything interesting on him? Not long. I, uh, can we quickly do that, and if we find nothing, then sedate him? Wouldn't it be easier the other way around? He can't talk about the shit he has anyway. Yeah, that's true, yeah, let's sedate him then. Let's sedate <laughs> him, and I can tell you there are no identifying marks on him. Well, let's just chuck him in the fucking trunk. <laughs> All right, new dude. New dude in the trunk. <laughs> just throw him in the trunk, and I take it you're going to...
You're going to o open the trunk, throw the man in. Ollie says hi. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, trunk, trunk and I take it you will the guys will then try and catch up with Jack. Uh, well, yeah, we're armed. So. However, Violet and Jack are going to meet first. Da, so, da, 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 da. Violet, you encounter Jack. Hey, Violet. Violet. Violet is not here either. Violet. <laughs> Violet. Christ. Violet is gone. Okay. No, no, we we we. We shall well, wait. I am awkwardly standing around while Violet is not moving at all and not reacting to anything. <laughs> Violet, is Violet is loading in. <laughs> Violet is uh, standing there with her arms extended. It has to do with Violet's height. She's loading the skybox as well as the ground floor. And this, uh, this uh, causes some problems every now and then. Some, some lag. Cinematic, please. It's, I feel, I feel, <laughs> I, need there to, you I, feel are. I need to open Hello. my ports. You're being talked at, Violet. Hello. Sorry, yes. Yes, oh. um. Jack has now encountered you. Oh, right. Sorry. Yes. I thought he was talking to the fact that you... No, no, no. All right. So um, I'm going to report what I've seen. Um, what have you seen? Basically, it's a warehouse two stories high. Um, unclear what type of business it's conducted or it's conducted inside it. No clear windows. No idea how many people there are there or how many vehicles. Um, the front way in would be a large wooden gate, which is not a clear point of ingress, but there might be another point of ingress around the back. Cool. Yep. That's pretty much it. Is there an elephant gun anywhere, by the way? <laughs> no, there is no elephant no. guns lying around. Do you have Do you have anything else except that poker you got there? It's a very nice sword. <laughs> I, I I say exactly that. It's a rather nice sword. This was D and D. This would be a master crafted sword. And I say, well, it is better than nothing. Well, that's true, but I wish I had like a, a gun or something I could give you. I only have like I only have my pistol on me. Right. I say, do you have a shield? A shield. Yeah, but I mean, you know, worth checking. Eventually. No, I do not. Eventually, the other two catch up. You see Violet talking to Jack. Violet is armed with a sword. The sword that you got from the uh, the other house. Market. And now there is no one here except you two. <laughs> they, they awkwardly <laughs> load in again with their arms extended. This is going fantastically well. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here, yeah. yeah. I just talked to both of you. Well, you said we were there. You did. Yes, I'm, and you, yeah. you didn't say we, we anything. <laughs> there was oh, nothing sorry, to sorry, listen sorry, sorry, to. Sorry, sorry. I'm, going, Hello. I'm going to say this is the only object I could find. I threw a 22 out the window. Yeah. Amazing. So, so he's not too happy with the big words Violet always uses. So... You're going to That's explain cool. to them the warehouse. Yes, and I, I use I use the term ingress like five yep, times. Yep, so you know the it warehouse now. Sad. Can you I get a that... check on my English, please? <laughs> you know that there is... He said ingress. You know there is a, an entrance to the front. There may be entrance around the side. You have no idea. You didn't see anyone. You have no idea how many people are there. Sounds legit. And it's a very dilapidated warehouse. Should we uh, think of a sort of plan how close are we uh you're around the corner you'd have to walk a couple of hundred meters to get there well the last time i walked up to anything i got shot at so i'll let one of you guys go first this time I, well, how, I, we do not pro sorry I, I am make scout i come back I, su I suggest the obvious point of going around the back because yeah. unless someone's brought a fire axe we're not getting into the front we brought a massive rush at okay so, so, so uh, Rinsky uh, has fine. a bayonet okay yes. you guys are gonna search uh, for a back entrance Strabinsky would like <laughs> to, to sort of go off alone first and have a have a listen. Right. You start going, going off. Listen. Yeah, you're going to approach the warehouse alone. Okay. He did say he would be back. So if, if you may people be back. leave, well, okay. You're going to walk over to the <laughs> warehouse. Oh, uh, I we can wait. Actually. You're going to wait. Sneak, sneak, okay, please. Strabinsky, you're using yes. your stealth skill. Yeah. All right. Like, no, no. What? You sneak? fall. You fall yeah, on sneak. the You have you sneak. Die. Okay, good. Yeah, you sneak. That's what I'm saying. You're using yes. your sneak skill. 36. 36! Carefully and quietly, as you, when you get closer to the warehouse, you start dun, sneaking dun, dun, around. Are dun. you going around the left or the right? He is not actually going to approach any of the build, any of the doors. He will just stand up against the wall and have a good listen. Okay. You make me a listen check. Bonk, 33. You hear nothing. Zerinsky sneaks back and reports this. Fuck all! <laughs> you hear... You, he reports back that he listened at the wall and heard nothing. You realise that we could see you just listening to the wall. No, you couldn't. Fucking... Fucking... You guys are around his, the corner. Unless you were watching, you didn't roll. see it. 
I see. Couldn't so, see there you shit. go. He's gone to the wall. He's heard nothing. He's come back, so he hasn't been shot at. That is something. Should we still attempt to, like, violent set approach around the back? Yeah, you can do. That seems it like the most sense sense sensible idea. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to ask yeah. this question importantly. Are you going around the left or the right-hand side of the building? Which what side? Of... Yeah. Well, but you're approaching it center on. Like, you're approaching it on the yeah, yeah, shorter but, but, side. But did, did uh, which, which way did Rufert go just then? Rufert did not. Rufert went oh, to the right, front so, yeah. wall, listened, and came back. Okay. <laughs> there is I, a very I... big door on the front bit. There is also slightly to the side a smaller door. What does it look like in front of the big door? Uh, what distingu across, across. distinguishes the left or right path? Uh, nothing. Okay. I say left because left. So you guys are going left. Yeah, sounds good. Any objections? Yeah. Uh, no, the, no, the, no, the, no, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me just. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the big door. It's facing something. What is that? Just another warehouse or nothing? The, the the big door is facing the street. So is the small door. Okay. Is there anywhere Strabinsky can set up fairly no. close? Uh, there, there is not. Like there are basically warehouse, other warehouses, and there is no way to get on the roofs of those. Oh, but he would. I mean, it's a big door. He could be somewhere in view of whatever's inside when he uh, and sit there and the shoot. So the street shoot. is your only option. Fuck it, he's going with the dudes. Right. Damn it, you, fucking... Yeah, it, it's a good question, but there is nowhere for you to assail a sniper vantage point. Oh, just prone in the fucking street. You go left. Alright, you follow the wall. Left, eventually, as you get to the corner. You, you, turn, you go down this alleyway and you get to the corner at the back of the building. There is a door on the corner. Just before you round the corner, there is a door. What sort of door? It's it's um it's a wooden door. Any gaps in it oh. that you can see through or Any just a solid, no. solid. Is it, does this... it have multiple layers? Are there more doors? You don't know. Uh... Shall we shall we gently try the handle? Would you like Listen to gently to try the handle? I carefully grab the handle and mm -hmm. slowly try to open the door. It's locked. I slowly <laughs> try to devils. unlock they it. Thought of everything. Do you have lockpicking <laughs> skill? I have locksmith skill? Locksmith? <laughs> yes, that is actually the skill you need. Use you locksmith. Mend, you mend the lock. It is now Use the locksmith skill. <laughs> yes. I will use the locksmith skill to determine and try how if this lock can be opened and try to open it. Okay. It's a simple I shall roll. It is a 16. I have a 41 in it. It is done. Yes, you unlock the door quite quietly as well. I just turn around, give everyone the smuggest look, and slowly open the door. You open the door. Okay. The room. Can we, can we sneakily peer in. I say an expected I'm, skill. From I'm going a small to describe the room obviously. to you now. God. This room is full of a lot of small boxes, and is very dingy. There is a slight boxes? smell of damp, and must. There well, are I mean, no are these windows. Like you, they look like crates. Okay, are they hostile? I mean, Go do, do, poke do we, them, find out. Do, do we get any clue as to the nature of business with this way? The only way you can do that is by opening the crates. It seems they're this. selling crates. It's crate tab. Is there, is there from, a from, Jimmy oh, or a crowbar anywhere to use it to open well, it? From looking in there, could can we see if the car we were chasing had been let in the big front door from the back? You don't know because this is a small room and there is another door across. So oh, you I cannot see. see into the main warehouse. Oh, I see. You have to actually go into the room for me to tell you a little more. Is If we get into the room, are we able to like position ourselves behind crates so that nothing in front will be us? If you like. Well, Sir is the them. oldest. He would like to sneak in and draw eventual fire. If okay, you anything. sneak in. The first thing you notice to your right is some stairs leading down in the corner. Listen, listen, listen. You make a listen check. <laughs> you listen to the stairs. They don't make any sound. 35. You don't hear anything. There are there are some crowbars, um, Violet. By the way, there is a crowbar by one of the crates. Well, I'm going to use that to open one. You're going to use that to open the crate. Okay. Yeah, but not obviously. I mean, if 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 it's going to like have to break it and be incredibly loud, yeah. pulling out a million rivets. No, no, it's okay. Nails are loud when they come out. Right. They can be, but you're you going. Can, you can also you can also ease it up. You're going to open the crate. Okay. What is um the rest of the party doing? Jack. Um, I keep a lookout on the door Good and plan. watch people's backs. Good plan. What about um the doctor? Also allows me to. All right, the doctor just stuffed his face with chocolate. Um, okay. Jeez. I'm gonna. Uh, I would like to. I'd be interested to see what's in one of the. Okay, 
So you're going to be with... Um... Okay, you open one of the crates. Violet. Yes. This crate is full of dead bodies transported in straw. I'd like both you and the doctor to make me sanity checks. They're what selling the... dead bodies? Can I, can I make Why it around for I... a second, Ted? The, these are not just dead bodies. These are butchered dead bodies. These are not just dead bodies. Those are you were really not expecting dead bodies. this. That is why you are making a sanity. Would I not get a bonus having seen vast quantities you, of bodies in my? You time? were not expecting this. You have to make a sanity check. Being. If you found just a person dead and you knew that was happening, fair enough. But you did not expect <laughs> thirty. You're I got okay. Thirty-five. Yep. No sanity loss. You are startled. <laughs> is it a violet? Fucking bodies, mate. There are dead, butchered bodies in here being transported in straw. Uh, you say butchered, any, like, they cut up? Or they symbols? Cut or, up. Can, okay. Uh, have like, little what? Uh, on them. Can, we, can we open another crate, now expecting this, without any damage? Uh, you don't know what's in the other crates, so you can, can open a crate. Hold on, we, this is... I'd wait, like to open another crate. Have they been dried or something? Because you can't are you just... looking at these? No. You can't ask questions no. about it if you don't know what they are. <laughs> don't know they're there. Well, I mean, it, no, no mind. So, okay, I, I'm, I, I mean, we can assume they're taking whatever steps required to keep the bodies fresh enough or whatever. Well, if they're, no. if they're, if they're in straw, they're either well, okay. No, they, they haven't. They're, they're starting to go putrid. And why, why aren't they leaking out on the floor? I did... <laughs> Do you it's, want it's, to go and have the, a look, all Victor? All the leaking stuff is getting absorbed by the bodies underneath in the straw. If you go, if the straw at the bottom is just like matted. Oh, I see. You op opening, <laughs> opening another crate does not reveal dead bodies. It just reveals straw. Okay. Damp straw. <laughs> that looks. That rather implies they're planning on filling them. I was about to say we can assume from that, yeah, that we're gonna. <laughs> they were gonna plan to put dead bodies in these things. Mm -hmm. If they were damp, they probably had already removed whatever mm -hmm. was in there. Not that I'm looking. <laughs> not looking. Okay, you're not looking. Well, should we uh, go I'm to, going to ask, the stairs? I'm then? going to ask the doctor roughly how long he, he thinks these bodies have been dead. You... I roll on that, presumably. Or do you, I not need you to? You don't need to roll. They've been dead a few days. Okay. I relay the information. Okay. Any other particular notes that the doctor would glean from this, as opposed to anything else? Um, how the manner, they the ma Yeah, about to say manner of death. You think the manner of death was throat slit. And I would be right, or...? Well, no, you don't know if you're right. <laughs> That's but, what but I mean, like, but, you're within, oh, is it a good, educated guess? You think it's so, yeah. Okay, you think again, so. I, relay, I relay the information. You think so. Alright. Uh, by the way, hmm? while all this is happening, Stravinsky's at the door listening to... The other door? Any, uh, the other door to listen, listen to if anything is going to happen on the... Mm -hmm. listen so, check. Very good he is. He does. Except right now, because Clyke is talking. 88. Silence. You don't hear anything. Oh. Uh, you have spotted no one Clyke coming around the side of the building. I s gently close the door behind us so that someone from You could actually not... relock it, if you liked, with a locksmith roll. Guys, should I lock the door behind us, or is that as stupid as it sounds? Uh, in case we need to get out, I would say let's not lock it in case we how, need to leave in a hurry. I thought the same the thing, but somehow this really how, stupid idea how, how came What does head. the door look? <laughs> how breakable, how friable. You think if someone went why at would... it with an axe, it would go down pretty quick? Why would you need to lock a door from the inside? Isn't it just openable? Why, why would it... Also, it's not how most locks lock. work, son. Also, not if it's an old school bolt lock, it wouldn't, no. It's just, I mean, it's literally, it's like you have to stick in a key for me the direction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, on one side, but the other not you don't, necessarily. You there might just be a thing. You didn't hear anything there. from the, uh, the through Sounds the other the door, Stravinsky. So, oh, what are you guys right. going to do? You uh, have. I'm, going, I'm going to suggest to the others that they ready their weapons. Already done so. <laughs> Where are you going, Ar Paranoid Doctor? Uh, you see, there's some stairs heading down. There it? are stairs heading down. What else was in the room? There's Apart a door from boxes. Side? There's a door on the other side. Come. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a look downstairs. I. What do, you, what do you reckon, uh, lads and lady? I would not want to be trapped down there, Strabinsky says in broken Russian. What's good? Yeah, go up, stop. Okay. So I'm, you're heading I'm, downstairs. I'm going to go with the doctor. All right, well. Strabinsky is well, staying it's up. Already, madam. Let's go have a look. So Strabinsky is staying up. Strabinsky has stacked some of the crates in the corner where he has a little, made okay. a little trench for you're himself. You're going to stay so. up. And uh, Jack Kleiker, are you staying up or are you going down? 
Um, I'm staying up for now, still, like, keeping an eye on our escape route, because okay. I really don't trust this place one bit. Okay, so the two people head downstairs. Um, uh, just as a note, then, for you, sir, I, my firearm is out and ready. Sure. Loaded. All right, All right doctor and, uh, doctor and professor, you start heading down <laughs> the stairs. It's like a fucking Cluedo episode. Oh, uh, out of interest, mm. uh, is there any light sources down there as we travel down? Because otherwise it's going to be pretty it dark. It is... It is dark in the stairway, but you think there is light at the end. Okay. Right, you start heading down. The stairs are made of stone. Oh, Worked sweet, stone. Sweet. And when you get down to the bottom, you notice that there are electric lights in the ceiling. Fancy. Wouldn't, wouldn't say necessarily rare, but certainly wouldn't that be rarer in this time period for a warehouse? Yes, it would be. Uh, well, I, I know. <laughs> the I, wall... I, but yeah, sorry. The walls are rather are rather smooth, but appear to have been hewn straight from the ground. There are supports, however. You cannot hear anything from upstairs. You've travelled quite a way down. I'm presuming we can only head directional forward. I will inform you. You have entered into... You've gone down the stairs, and the first things that are presented to you is there is a door a little ahead of you, and a very long corridor to your left. You cannot see any doors down there, but you think it may turn at the end. And I mean, this is probably nearly a hundred, maybe a hundred, maybe eighty to a hundred meters long. It's called. Okay, so, this is, so this is clearly going out outside the boundary of the building. Yes, yeah. it is. Okay. It's deep under the streets. This is okay, in that case, I, I I turn to our doctor and say we need to check upstairs in this warehouse first before we start like going way away from the others. Agreed. Yeah, we we need to cover what's there before we. Yeah, right. agreed. Okay. Yeah. So are you guys heading back up? Yeah, we'll meet with the others and just relay. Okay, you head back up. They arrive back, by the way, guys. Um, Vi- Violet and um the doctor very quickly. All right, they're back. What's wrong? Did something happen? We found an extremely long snaking, co- what we think is a snaking corridor underneath the building that could lead well outside the boundaries. We want to have a look. you snaking, are we talking snakes? It's a long straight corridor with no doors that appears there to turn There was one at the door end. as soon as you came at the end. There is also a door, but we, we, we think it would be wise to check upstairs because there are the people who, had, who drove the car in here earlier who might well still be in the building. And if we go down into an area, if we don't know it comes out, we might well try to come back and encounter chaps with guns. Did anybody the see the car, by the way? You haven't well, you... seen the car yet, because you've not well, gone into the main warehouse. Exactly, but that's where it would be, so you might okay. as well. Are Should you... we have a look at the other door, then? Yeah. You're going to go to the other door. It's made is of wood. It... Uh, I asked Jack if it's locked, if you can test it. Is it? You're going to try it? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to s- carefully check. It is not locked. Stuck. Jam. It's not locked, guys. Shall I not open locked. it? I go, yeah. I crouch in front of it. And I do it like with the first door where I slowly, ever so slowly open it so we can peek through and the others Strabinsky can cover Strabinsky motions for the you light see? to be turned off before we do this. Or like covered at least. Is there that sense, a light even on? Didn't someone have a, a lantern or something? No. Or at least, cl- at least close the other door so we're not just suddenly lighting up the room from this... moonlight or whatever. So you're peeking through the door. But, but the outside door is closed. That's what I did. Yeah, I just already closed. Okay, never mind. I am, I'm retarded. So you open the you're door. You're just You're opening the door slightly. You're opening the door slightly. I open it so we can uh, carefully peek through. Yeah. This is a large storage area full of wooden crates. Can we I smell wonder anything? if they make more dead people here. You can see nothing else by looking out just through the tiny crack of the door. Can we? Can right. we smell anything? Nothing. <laughs> Are they hostile? Like sh- Wait, the it's just because a few bodies get stinky pretty quickly. So. Very Wait, the, uh, good. The, the new crates are bigger, yeah? These are bigger crates. <gasps> Stravinsky would like to have a listen to one of the crates. You Maybe have to actually go into the room to have a listen to one of the crates. You haven't can gone Stravinsky... into the room yet. Can Stravinsky slink to the nearest crate so he's covered behind it? Only if you go in the room. Who's right. the sneakiest person here, anyway? That's, is it that's me. It's, it's me, I think. So okay. is Jack letting you out to go into the other room? Well, he's getting a bayonet up his ass if he doesn't get out of the way. <laughs> So, Hello? Jack, are you opening the door for Stravinsky to go through? Jack's had a hard attack in between. <laughs> Jack <laughs> has <laughs> passed on. Doctor, doctor, save this we man. We will give you five seconds. What's up? Are you opening the door enough for Stravinsky to go through? If he wants me to, yes. Right. Make me a sneak check, then. Mr. Stravinsky or me? Not you. 21. 21. You sneak over to a crate. 
Do, do, do. I want you to make me a spot hidden roll as well. Do, 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 I, I question the legitimacy of this roll. Uh, I do not have spot hidden. But then it's base 25%. 70. Right. You sneak up to one of the crates. Nearsighted. Uh, listen to crate. Yep. 44. Silence. You also notice that this place is very quiet. There are also not many boxes. Tumbleweed. This room uh, is massive, and the only things that separate it is there is a there's a bunch of like lockers over in a corner. You know, like the, the the front entrance, the front way you would have gone in, from where you're standing, to the in the corner, the left hand corner. There is a big room with two big doors. You think that you might be where the cars are kept. And there's a small room in the corner. Interestingly, there is a flight of stairs directly to your right. Hold, hold up. That, Can... that leads Sorry. upwards to another room on the other floor. Somebody needs to check if the car's still here. Well, someone with mechanical repair would, or something similar, would be able to have a sniff at the air to see if a car has recently been running inside there. This is a big warehouse. Big nose, Russian. So, you don't. No, as you can't smell Russian a car from here. You can't smell a car from here, I love it. I'm going to quote that. So, there is a flight of stairs leading up directly to your right. Like, basically, when you exited the door and looked around, there is a flight of stairs to your right, heading up. Okay, I wouldn't mind going up and having a look carefully. Right. Okay, you're going to go have a look carefully. Strabinsky covers him. Make me a sneak check. I have uh, no sneak roll, so what would I need? I will tell you your base sneak roll. Um, I don't think it's going to be that good. Your base sneak... Well, unless I'm walking around with symbols crashing, I think I could, you know... Your base sneak is 10%. Uh, 70. 70! Right. You are shot at as you get halfway up the stairs. Okay, can I <laughs> attempt to get the hell out of the way? Well, you miss... The person misses, and now we enter combat. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So I'm going Made to go, layer, I'm going to uh, have the in initiative order because you go in dexterity order. Ben, this is the time. Oh, for the music. This is the time and the place. All right. You all have twelve decks. What is this? Yeah, I know. It's the dream. Oh God. Except for you, Violet, who has eight. Yeah, I mean, well, that's because I'm cooler than them. So, what is happening? We are going to have uh, Daniel go first because he is being shot at. The bad part is you don't know where you are being shot at from. Is there, so wait, in, in this room, is there a walkway above us that's for the, as it were, where the second story would be? There is the a flight story. of stairs heading right, up. Right, but, but, that, but that goes up to a... As far as you know, to a whole other room. Whole okay, other right, room. But, but there's not, but you know, often you get a gantry that goes all the way around? No, no, no there is no okay. gantry. Cool. So they couldn't be shooting from any angle above us? No. Okay, cool. You don't know where the shot came from, Daniel, because you didn't see it. Wait, hold on. It's in the middle of the night. Yeah. Yeah, so wouldn't but, but we see the muzzle it. flash? No, but but you it. weren't looking. You didn't see anything. Uh, well, I've seen it if I was, as I was no, looking. No, you only... Isn't, you isn't, only... Isn't, isn't this room lit, though? Not really. It's very dingy. And then but, you would but, see. But what is the source of light? Look, the... The source of light generally is the moonlight from the windows and the occasional light. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, so really However, is. there are <laughs> lights where you're going. You are quite <laughs> visible, Daniel. What? Glorious. You don't know where you were shot from. You only know that someone was shooting at you because you heard the bullet ricochet off the wall. Well, we can assume that it was either... I can make a good, decent guess it was from above me, can't I? So. It would have been somewhere in the light, otherwise you would have seen the muzzle. If right. it was from above you, you wouldn't know where, because this um, stairway leads to a doorway at the top. And well, is the, door, is the door shut still? Yes. Can I give myself cover against that door? If, without... <clears throat> if you like, think... How's, how's the stairwell look? Is it like an open stairwell? It's an open stairway. Now, is, what's, if I put my back to the door, what can what could my limbly bits be doing? Uh, would they see from anywhere? Except for the door. You could be seen from anywhere in the warehouse where they would see you. Wait, like, what? This is an open stairway. You have come out into the main warehouse area. I there thought is... it was... We've got, we went directly you... in, and you said directly to our right. Directly to your right as soon as you leave the door. Yeah, so... Is a stairway. Be... Would... You so are in the main right. area. 
So wouldn't what to my right then be a wall still? No. What? It's a stairway. It's like an open stairway, literally supporting, supported by wooden, by like yeah, metal yeah, poles. You know, I don't think you're following me. Like we've gone through. You've we've gone, gone through, through another door. door. Yeah. So <laughs> we passed through a door. So that door was walled off, right? Yes. Yeah. So if I go Beyond... up the stairway to one of the angles, there will be a wall. Yes. Yeah. However, there is still a massive open area in front of you. You've come in the corner of the warehouse. Yeah, yeah. So there's I mean, still about another. So we're at the corner of the warehouse. There's going to be at least two walls where the shot probably didn't come from because it wouldn't be enough angle. Yeah, it wouldn't but be very easy to shoot from that. So it has but to be from there is about another sixty, like fit, like another like thirty, forty, fifty meters where someone could have shot you from. Well, that's all right. You ain't gonna hit fucking diddly squat from that distance. Depends what gun he has. Uh, unless he's got some sort of massive rifle, he isn't gonna hit diddly squat. Fair enough. <laughs> You've got a massive bit. Well, either way, I want to like get back down and get to cover. That's you can idea. get back down and get to cover. That's not a problem. Yeah. The only cover you can have is either a box, but you don't know where they're shooting you from, or into the other room. But by, by the way, I, I was checking the double doors just to see if the car was still there. You would have. Well, if, they're still, if they're still shooting again, yeah. yeah you've only been shot it... once. So then I, I go behind the box with the other gents and lady, I suppose. Well, only two of you have actually, two, only two th- of you have actually gone out. Violet has I not think, yet come think, out. I think I think sorry I th- I think um I I implied that I was going to check the room for the where the car was in. You have doing, not got there to... yet. It is on literally the other side of the warehouse. Cool. Okay, so I'd be kind of in the middle of sort of on the floor somewhere. In when that case, that. you are you in your turn. You'll might want to move as well. The only person cool. that isn't in the room is Jack. Cool. Jack is still in the small room. <laughs> well, like I said, I, I hide behind a box because you're going to log- hide behind a logically, box. Logically, I could have my back facing to the wall that I've come through. Right, you're going to hide behind a box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that is your go. Now it is Violet's turn. You've right. heard a gunshot. Do I have any idea where it's come from at all? No. Right? Not a clue. I'm, I'm going to speed up and continue making my way towards the double doors because I have no idea where it's coming from. Okay, you're going to keep moving to the double doors. Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> Just fuck it. You know, it's, it's clear at all, close to a wall. Like you're going to keep going to the double doors. Right, Jack. Yeah. I must mm-hmm. inform you, if you move next turn mm-hmm. the, the um for um Violet, the quickest route is straight through the middle of the warehouse. And you won't be against a wall. If you want to follow the wall, that's a longer route. This has uh, apparently this finished Violet off. Oh, oh, wait, sorry, I think it was in Takaika. Um, I was talking to you. Oh, right, yes, sorry, I think it was, was talking right, right. to you, yes. Because so, yeah, cool. Um... That's for next round, not this round. Okay, cool, cool. Sorry, because I thought I was taking my time. Jack, yeah. you've heard a gunshot in the other I room. I've, I know I heard a gunshot. I'm probably going to stay at, like, that door and try if I can peek out and if I can see anything and also, again, protect our way back. Okay. Right. You want to do that? Right. Do I spot anything peeking out? You're going to have to make me a spot hidden roll. Anybody who's outside here gets to ma- outside in that room gets to now make me a spot. I have there. 26 and I rolled a 25. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, motherfucker. Let's see. How does how does spot hidden work? It's 25 percent base. Oh cool. 30. 50. Right. Wait. Though it's just those 50, who roll. 57. Everyone who's outside or can see. So everybody is rolling at the moment. 57. Right? Yeah. Uh, 85. Right. One of your apparent assailants has lit a lamp. And has put it on a crate. That's Where is he good. relative to me? Uh, a fair distance, about fifteen meters. He has a rifle. Can he see me? You don't know, but he's aiming at someone. I I, I can't see from his profile. Like, if he's even vaguely pointing. He's not aiming at you, then. He's okay. aiming at someone. Cool. You don't know who. Is it only oh, Violet who can see this? Uh, no, you can all see this. But I'm she the knows that she's not being aimed at. Am I also oh. the closest person? You are the closest person. Well, if it had been one of us, wouldn't we be able to see we were being aimed at? He's a bit far away. She's closer than you are to them. Oh, I see. Blindest motherfucker. <laughs> Initiative goes round. It's Daniel's turn. You can see this person illuminated by a lamp. It's a figure. Looks like it has a rifle. It's about 25 metres away from you. Shoot him in the dick. Well, I ain't going to fire a pistol from 25 metres. You're not going to be a very accurate shot at 25 metres. Hell, the rifle's not going to be fantastic at that range, but... No, it's not. um, In that case, I'm going to... Can I essentially run my way around from one box to another? 
towards. Yes. Yes, you but, can run. Like, safely keeping my my front to him, but my back to you know. Back to the wall. So I'm I'm trying to make my way around. Um, if you, yeah, you can do that. There is the chance that the guy, if he tries to wait for you, will take a shot. In which case, you probably want to be ready with a dodge. Uh, well, is there any way we? Is there anything nearby that I can use to throw something out? There's really all there is is boxes in here. There's that's all there is. There's the okay. massive boxes. There is nothing. Nothing on the floor at all. No, no. bricks. No. You, you actually note that, uh, as I said before, that there is there are not many boxes in here. For a warehouse, this is very, very sparsely stocked. Okay. I have a book on me. You do have a book. Uh... I'm wondering if I can. How? I assume we're not that well illuminated, mind you. You aren't. Eh. I would say I could probably, with l l pretty much low illumination, I could probably make it. Yeah. So, but you... how, f how far am I going to go? You are not going to go very far. You are going to go your deck. If you run, or like go pretty fast, you're going to go your dexterity in. Um... You're, no, you're going to go eight I, meters. I'd, I'd you're going to go I'd eight make, meters about. I'd say I'd make a, perhaps a shorter dash, but a safer one. Yes. Okay. Box. That's yeah. fine. You make you go to another box. Okay. Violet. Yo. There is this person here. I'm going to run at him and sort him. You're going to start running at him. Well, I mean, like, he's already fired, right? Yes. He's engaged with something. I guess I could probably get close enough to him. And if he's if his lamp's only illuminating a small area, yep. it's ruined his night vision, so he clearly can't see outside it that are well. Are you running or are you trying to be stealthy about it? Uh, stealthy until I'm within, like, charge range. Sneak check for me, then, please. <laughs> I don't have the sneak skill. Well, it's 10% base. Because <laughs> I'm not useful. Minus your size. 94. No. Wow. Negative 60. <laughs> you stumble. Because I'm huge. You stumble yes. in the dark as um, your big as you are leg. sneaking. Uh, Jack. Hmm. So do I see anyone I can, like, take a shot at, or...? I think we'd have the same problems that he's having. He, he, the, the, there is a person there. They are quite a distance away, and they're only slightly illuminated. Okay. Um, Throw a grenade! Well, hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't really... Hmm. You know that this is a exceptionally hard shot for a pistol at this well, range. Well, I know, I know. Well, I don't really... I don't know. Like All I can really do is try to keep our, our back open, because there's nothing I can really do. So you uh you looking around behind you? Well, I'm yeah. It's a good I mean, thing you are because someone's climbing the stairs. Someone is climbing the stairs up behind us. They yeah, like they've just yet. got to the top of the base, to the top of the stairs. So they're basically directly in front of me. They are about ten meters away from you. I shouted them to put up their hands or blow their brains out. Okay, they don't. <laughs> I bet. I shoot their brains out. Roll me a pistol check. They're just racist uh, against actors. Do I have... To? Oh, yeah. Handgun. 20. <laughs> handgun 23. Never mind uh, that. Throw a crate down the, the, the stairs. A 30. My you, fucking bullet. You miss. It's him in the nads. Oh, this no. guy is not armed with a pistol. He's armed with is that, is that laser fucker, rifle. It, with the, the axe. It's the one who no, he's actually the armed. He's actually armed with what you can effectively see as a club. <laughs> oh, oh. Never mind, then. Great. Uh... Strabinsky. Uh, Did you say club or club? Club. Uh, I'll say club. Wrong. club. Like, I thought I was hoping that like golden again. You know, better. It better. is. Um, there is <laughs> Strabinsky. There is a person. Okay. And uh, you've heard Jack sh shouting something behind you and shooting. But can Strabinsky see lantern dude? Yes, you can see a lantern dude. Uh, is this is an oil. This is an old oil lantern. Yeah. It's an oil lantern. Stravinsky is old and nearsighted, would like some more light, so he shoots the lantern. You're going to shoot the lantern! Make me a rifle roll! <laughs> fucking have <laughs> 28. That is a good shot. It was a little difficult because it was uh, far away, but you hit it. And uh, <coughs> the lantern smashes, and the, the um, crate starts setting on fire. Yes. <laughs> okay. You have... You have Fired that shot. This person is a little more illuminated now. Is there only one person? There is only one person. 
Shit. It now goes uh, round to their turn. The one that has uh, noticed that there is a fire next to them is um, actually going to try and shoot you guys again. What a dick. Yeah. It's almost like he's some type of insane cultist. Seriously. Not fucking cultist. <laughs> I mean, he must be, he must be mad. He misses. My life in the zoo. He misses. <laughs> Although, Daniel barely yeah. misses. Wait, what? He is this barely supposed is... to make us feel better? He felt As your dad, wasn't, I, wasn't, I behind a, wasn't I behind a crate? Well, basically, as the initiative goes, it all takes place in about six or seven seconds. Oh, so he shot on me. Was on He's me. shooting as you are just about to get into cover. He barely misses What's you. What a massive penis. The other person, um, Jack, mm-hmm. just straight out charges at you. <laughs> I bet he does. And he's going to try and club you. I bet he does. He's going to club you. I... Try to dodge. I try to dodge his club and kick him down the stairs. You can't do both, and you can't. You definitely clubs. can't kick him, and you're nowhere near the stairs at this point. You are by the door. But isn't the door at the stairs? No, the the stairs are in the other corner. Kiko, you're painting a picture here, man. I can't follow it. You're, you're, okay. you're just you're just not listening, Clyde. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Okay, I'll try to dodge his club, of course. Right. You know, you need to make me a dodge roll. Well, I, that's what I want to do. Yeah. Two times your decks. Oh, uh, that kind of dodge next. roll. Okay. Yep. Two turn on next. So 24. Yep. 75. That's like Ooh. 75 is minus nope. no. something is no. 24. No, that's not how that works. You rolled a 74. Okay. That's a, that's a fail. I made you a dodge roll, though. <laughs> he did hit you. Shit. Fortunately, you've only been dealt two points of damage. Does uh, <laughs> does Klyka make any sort of noise taking this damage? You are. An- <laughs> Uh, I will tell you, since you're now on 7 health, if you go to 2 health, you are unconscious. Wait, I'm now on 5 health, you mean? No, have you already took damage? I was on 7 health. Well, why were you on 7? Because that's what it says in my character sheet. Your hit points here say 9. Well, then I'm on 7. Thanks, Kiko. Wasn't it because he was ill? No, it's probably because you forgot to... um, Because Kiko will have given you back the HP, but after... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I thought he got shredded by... Didn't you lose Khan? Yeah, by Corbid. He got scratched. What's your con matter right right now? Nine. Oh no, he's cons at nine. That's right. He had more health before. He had more so health. So am before. I on seven? You're on seven on? health. Okay. You're on seven health. Right. Okay. And, and you are in melee combat. <laughs> I shall get shit. Get hit by a club and you're like, wait, I'm tough than I thought I was, but that still hurt. He. It was a glancing blow because he tried to dodge. Do you make Just any sort of noise that would summon Strabinsky in his next turn? I don't, I don't know. Did he make the I call make of the Shubinsky? sound of a starving Russian bear. Initiative goes <laughs> round. It is uh, Daniel's turn. You have a pretty... You know where this guy is now because he's illuminated quite well. He is too intimidated by the fact that he nearly got shot. Oh, doctor, it doctor. Yes, it is you, Sorry, Daniel. I, thought he said Trubinsky. Oh, I said Can't Daniel. Can't you see he's burning, burning? Okay, so uh, considering... I'm still a bit puzzled with the layout of the room. Where am I in conjunction to everything else right you now? You are a small Is... amount of distance. You know, there's the uh, the wall, the door that you came through. Yes. The back, the back wall of the warehouse. You are. You said you were sort of navigating your, keeping your back so to, to that. So to my right would be the stairwell where the crazy. To your right people. would be the. To your it's... right would be the door you came in, and where Jack Kleiker is. Just think ahead of, of you. Ahead of you, and slightly to your left is where this person is shooting you from. I, I kind of imagine this room like that scene from the labyrinth where Bowie just goes up and over. What the, gun the did thing. you say? You were M1911? My pistol, yeah, I got 1911. Right. It has an effective range of 15 yards. Yeah. What? And this person is about 30 oh. meters away. What about the one that's crazily coming up next to uh, Jack? You don't you... see this person. I Unless you heard, to, I would have you've heard. heard it, but you haven't seen them. But how close are they? Oh, yeah, where, where, how close are they from me? Uh, they? Fair distance. I would say they're probably about 15 yards away from you now. This is a big warehouse. Wait, wait, wait. I was on the stairs and that guy came down. Yep. Then I moved. You then said you ran six, down to a crate. Then you said I could move safely six or eight meters. And I said I want to do it safely, so I presume you'd be about you six moved, meters away. Yeah. But so I'd still be six meters isn't that far in terms of moving from the top of the stairs six meters. You did that once. To where I was, yeah. To a crate. Yeah. Which wasn't right next to the stairs. No, but it wouldn't be. 
If I was and if Jack, it was six minutes from where I was on the stairs, and then Jack was paying just... attention to the to the other door, on the other side, to make sure you weren't getting followed. It's a lot of doors. I just don't. You can't just... see the person that he is shooting. You can hear him, but you cannot see him. Well, could I move then react if I'm that? You can that only far move away? or react. You can't do both. 